Hey, everybody. You ready to see how this past week on the market is? Stay tuned. Tim Weigel here with Watson Realty. Excited to share with you the market update for the week of February 21st through February 27th. And it's got some interesting numbers in here. So let's check it out. So actives. Currently for the five counties we review, the Orange County, Seminole County, Volusia County, Lake County, as well as Osceola County, have had a total of 3,093 actives as of this second. And it keeps, the numbers keep going down. Um, if you look at the beginning of the year, we had over 3,600, but we're gradually going less because what we're seeing in the market, is we have a, still a lot of buyers coming to our area, but we don't have any new listings coming on. It's slower and slower. So the more that the buyers eat up the listing inventory, we keep going less actives each day. So if you're thinking of selling, it's definitely a seller's market. Now, as far as solds, we're up to 993 for the past week. So uh, leading off, is Orange County was the highest with Osceola coming in next, but we did have a nice jump this past week uh, with Seminole County bumping back up. And Lake County had a decent one, their highest to date of solds. People are moving to those rural areas. And then Volusia, though, did take a dip and drop down almost to their lowest sold total for the year so far. Um, our highest solds in the week, as you can tell, was back on the week of February 6th, ending week of February 6th, so right before the Super Bowl week at 1,036. But, you know, we're staying pretty steady around a thousand mark almost. Um, could use a little more solds, but before that, we need those listings. Now, looking at the median sales price week over week, we took a little bump up about 3%. So total is about $350,970. Uh, Osceola and Orange were pretty strong. Seminole County, wow. They took a pretty good bump, their highest total for the month. Um, and we see Volusia even bumping up into the threes and Lake County also bumping up there, staying up pretty high. Um, Osceola though is still the county of consistency, 350, 360, 360, now 368. So if you're in Osceola County thinking of selling, these numbers just keep going up week over week and they're probably the most steady county that we have. Now days on market, everyone's below 10 days except for Volusia. So they're keep gradually going slower. Uh, Summer was on a streak of eight days and you're done. So their contracts are moving, 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 moving. So, and then Orange County had their lowest amount with hitting seven days for days on market with their recent solds. So as you tell, these numbers keep being low. So that doesn't really mean much outside of the fact of no more new listings. We're out of inventory, chances are in about a week, week and a half time. Now, the lowest sold home comes to you off of Orange Blossom Trail over in Orlando, and it is a condo hotel. So someone bought one of those doors for $32,000. It's a simple one bedroom, one bath, 276 square feet, nothing fancy. You rent it out a little bit. Um, it's a lower income rental. You sell it, you make some money, get some doors coming in, bring in some money, easy to get involved in. Highest one was out in Windermere, which was a four bedroom, four full baths, three half baths, over 7,800 square feet, has a pretty big owner's closet, beautiful view of the lake over there, which is off Lake Burden, uh, three car garage, pool, outdoor kitchen, and even better, it was built in 2017. And the looks of that home was very contemporary, so up to date. So didn't really stand out anything special on that part outside of it's newer. And that one went for $5.5 million. And it definitely was a beautiful home. So uh, lots of great features, very wide open full plan from the looks of the photos that I looked at. Now, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed today's market update. Get you the information you need weekly, but more importantly, next week, let's talk about what's gonna happen on Monday. So next week's, March. So we're going to share month over month from February of 2021 to February 2022 to see the differences that a year has made for that month. So you can see where the growth is. Uh, we'll show how it works in different municipalities too. 
uh, for the different cities within some of these counties that we like to visit and talk about. And then I'm gonna share some great information on some of the stats from February. Some different stuff I didn't really share with the January one. So I think you guys are gonna really be intrigued and interested in seeing. So I look forward to next week. And again, if you wanna connect with me, here are several ways you can connect with me. I look forward to hearing from you. I just wanna be able to provide you information, help you so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. So have a good day. See you guys next time.